So I bought another spot welder. The reason I bought another spot welder is um, some of the viewers in my videos were telling me that they no longer sell some of the old spot welders that I've reviewed. And there's a new design that's flooding AliExpress. And so I jumped on AliExpress, bought the new design, and we'll check it out. Now, this is the last one that I previously reviewed, and I quite liked it. You can tell it's beefy. Look at all the, the copper and the 12 MOSFETs. And the new one, um, it's here. You can tell it's from the same manufacturer. It has the same uh, layout, the same design. Everything's similar, except that on first glance, it doesn't look as beefy because it's missing half the MOSFETs. It looks like it's half the board of this, but it's actually not. They moved the other six MOSFETs to the back. So this should be very similar to this. Um, we'll have to check the interface. We'll have to fire it up. But um, this has 12 MOSFETs. This has 12 MOSFETs. This should be able to um, produce some good current. So we'll do some spot welding in a second with it. Um, this one had a really weird interface. So we'll have to see if this interface is just as weird. It probably is. It's probably the same interface. But, you know, let's set up the leads. I'll use the stock leads um, and we'll get this all set up and then we'll do some testing. Okay, this is connected. Uh, the way this works is these MOSFETs break the negative. The positive comes straight from the battery. There is no electronics on the positive. And then all that happens is there's an extra white wire that feeds the electronics over here but this only breaks the negative connection. All right, we're ready. Let's grab a battery. Let's plug it in and let's see what happens. Now, I haven't even, I haven't even bothered to fully charge up my, my battery. Um, yeah, we're only halfway, but this is just for some testing. So we'll, we'll, we'll work with it. Uh, okay, let's see what... Okay, this is the same interface. Okay, this is the same interface. All right. Um, this does three pulses, and you can set the time for each pulse, segment one, segment two, segment three. Now, I've tried messing with it before on the old one, and it's complicated. And there is nothing in the instructions about how this actually works. So we'll just use it on its stock settings and see what happens for now. Um, but let's get some cheap test batteries and let's grab some 0.15. This is, yep, 0.15 by eight. And let's do some test welds. Let's see what we're dealing with here. If you know that the top of the cell is always the hardest to spot weld, so we'll, we'll start with the hardest spot welds first and we'll see how this goes. Let me clear all the junk out of the way so I don't um, uh, short circuit anything. And I, if I remember this one, if it's similar to the old design, it spot welds almost as soon as you put the needles down. So get your first needle ready and then put the second needle down and it's gonna hit quickly afterwards. So let's put the first needle down, second needle. And nothing is happening. Well, that's good. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's because I'm still in the menu. It doesn't spot weld when you're in the menu. Let's hold if I. I can't remember how to get out of it. Hold on, let's go here. Save. Return. Okay, we're back on the main menu. Let's see if it wants to spot weld now. So let's put the positive down and negative down. Okay, did it spot weld? Not bad. It's pretty, um, you can hear the triple pulse. Okay, these look, Fairly weak, but maybe they're just very concentrated. 
Let's try to rip that up and see how tight those are. Okay, let's, let's see what we're working with here. Okay, bad. Uh, medium, medium. Um, the first one was really good. The other ones were a bit weak. Um, let's do this again. Let's maybe do four spot welds and let's, uh, and I might mess with the, the, um, the pulse times a little bit, but let's see what we can do here. So let's get it so you guys can see. Yeah, so there was one good weld and the other weld was not great. Now, these batteries are terrible, but I mean, these test batteries have been beat to heck. But yeah, I think that's a bit weak. I am going to uh, play with the settings and I'll get back to you. Okay, what I have done is I've doubled the segment time per pulse. I have the same... Um, delay between each pulse, but I've doubled the length of time that the, pu then, that the pulse runs for. Um, let's see how it likes that. Ooh, that looks stronger. Okay, okay. Those are some spot welds. Okay, now let's see. This one, let's do, let's do double on this one like I did on the other ones. Okay, so these are four spot welds each. Let's try and peel this off here. Oh, gotta try and get it started, okay. Okay, that tore, that tore on all three welds tore. That's pretty good. We're on to something here. I wonder if I should go up even, even higher on these, um, on the segments. Let me show you what I'm, let me show you on the settings what we're talking about here. Okay, so what we are talking about is, uh, if you hit settings and you go to segment one, so the 500 millisecond delay is the time you have to get your needles in position before it fires. Um, and then this 20 is how long it, it fires the first pulse for, kind of how long the MOSFETs are open for. It was at 10 originally and we got the kind of, we got an okay weld, nothing great. 20 seems to be hitting a bit harder. I'm almost tempted to go to like a 25 here. Okay, and then we'll go to segment two, same thing. Now it's only 50 milliseconds because once you start welding, you want all three pulses to be almost immediate after each other. So that's why it's only a 50 millisecond delay on the second pulse. But I'm gonna up this again to 25 and save it. And segment three, up to 25 again. Okay, and the delay is 50 milliseconds. We save that and we return. Okay, so now we've raised this to up from 10 to 25 uh, milliseconds of weld per pulse. And let's see what we get out of this. We are definitely heading in the right direction. Let me get my needles un, un, untangled here. Okay. Now you gotta be careful. You, gotta, you don't wanna molt anything. So there's a balance here. Those are some hot welds. I like those. I can already tell that's probably about the right setting that I would like to weld at. Those are some hot welds. I can also tell you the needles are getting slightly warm. So <laughs> I, think, uh, I think you'll be taking a break. Uh, every five minutes because these needles are going to burn your hands soon enough. But at this 25 setting, those are some hot welds, I can tell. That's the that's about the right. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tore clean through. Tore clean through. The, okay. So for a hot weld, I think 25 is the right setting on a, on a lipo like this. I will tell you, these needles are starting to get a little bit of heat into them. So you're going to have to control your heat if you're going to do a long battery. You know, 25 gives you a nice hot weld through some 0.15, but you know, you're going to need to be taking a break every sort of row um, because it, it's, you know, I think you'll do damage if you get too hot. Um, the old um, device actually had a temperature sensor on it. I mean, this does have a temperature display, but I don't actually see the thermistor where it's taking the temperature. So I'm not sure where it's getting the temperature from, but... Um, it says it's 40C, which, you know, is getting a little warm. But this and this are the same. This is just a different design, same interface, same familiar interface. We have a slightly better understanding of how the interface works now. Um, don't, mess with the, uh, don't mess with the time between the pulses. Just increase each... each uh, uh, just increase each pulse width um, to hit harder per pulse. Um, yeah, I mean this, yeah, so the MOSFETs are not warm. Um, the needles are warm. So we're getting resistance and these have already cooled off. Um, so you don't have to wait long. I can already tell these have cooled off. You're getting, you're getting heat from the resistance through the wire when you're dropping, you know, 200 amps through <laughs> some thin wire like this. Um, anyways, I think this gets my uh, seal of approval. Um, since it's the only thing you can buy these days, um, you kind of have no choice. But, I mean, I think these are about 25 bucks, 30 bucks delivered. And, uh, yeah, I have no problems with it. You know, again, somewhere a 20 is a good weld, a 25 is a great weld, but a 25 is going to run really hot. Um, um, you know, your needles get hot every row, so you're going to want to balance heat versus um, weld time. But this gets the uh, Stephen uh, seal of approval.